Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I took a quick little poll on my Instagram the other day. Um, I recently, for the new year, decided to go vegan. Well, mostly vegetarian I have done. Um, pretty much I haven't eaten any meat thus far. I will admit I have cheated a couple of times in regards to veganism, but I am trying my hardest to go vegan. So one of the meals that I love to cook and I loved to cook when I was eating meat was stew chicken. So I took a poll on my Instagram to see if you guys would be interested in seeing the recipe that I have come up with instead of using chicken, using some cauliflower. So if that is something that you are interested in, then keep on watching. All right, so first things first is you're gonna just grab your cauliflower, a cutting board, and a knife. I went ahead and cut off that stem at the bottom. I will say this, I am by no means necessary a pro at this, but I mean, I just kinda wing it and go with it. So what I like to do is just cut right down the center of the cauliflower, and then trim down the sides. I don't even know if this is like really the right way to even cut cauliflower, but whatever. All right, so and now that you have cut up your cauliflower, you've got them in little portions here. I'm just gonna grab some olive oil. Don't ask why I have this big old olive oil bottle. I don't know, don't ask me. You're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil over them. And then using a spoon, just give them a light toss. And then you're gonna go ahead and season them. First, you're gonna grab some black pepper. I kind of just wing this recipe. I don't like do tablespoon of this, tablespoon of that. I don't know. My aunt always told me, um, if you're going by tablespoons, you're not cooking, you're following a recipe. So. Kind of go with it. So now I'm using allspice, sorry. And then a little bit of salt. And then some paprika. Once you are done seasoning them, you'll come up with something like this. So they're nice and seasoned. We're gonna go ahead and set those aside and continue seasoning them. We are going to go ahead and chop some vegetables. All right, so the next step that you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and chop an onion, a bell pepper, some scotch bonnet and either regular carrots or baby carrots. I'm really lazy, so I'm gonna just cut some baby carrots in like twos or threes and throw those in there because I'm just lazy, so yeah. So I'm gonna use about half of this large white onion and I'm just going to finely dice this. Once again, I am not a pro, so don't judge me on how I'm cutting these, if I'm cutting them wrong, I don't wanna hear it. This is just how I do it, okay? So we have chopped these, you're gonna go ahead and throw those into the bowl as well. And then you're gonna just grab a bell pepper. You preferably wanna use a, a green bell pepper, but if you don't have one at home or whatever, can't find one, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to find one, because that's pretty common. But if you don't have one in your home, and you're just kinda of cooking off what you've got in your fridge, any pepper will do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and chop some carrots. Just kind of chopping them in half, because like I said, lazy. Next step then you're gonna go ahead and grab a scotch bonnet pepper, or you can use scotch bonnet sauce, depending on what you have available to you. I'm gonna use an actual pepper. You only need about a teaspoon of this, maybe even half of a teaspoon, depending on how spicy you like it. Because I'm gonna be giving this to Amelia tonight, um, for dinner probably, I am not gonna use a lot of scotch bonnet because as you know, if you know, this stuff is hot. So I'm gonna just chop up a little tiny bit. But if you like it, you know, a little bit more spicy, then by all means, get your spice on. And oh my gosh, I almost forgot, you need garlic. So you're just gonna go ahead and take three large size garlic cloves. And you wanna go ahead and mince these as well. And then you're gonna go ahead and take two fresh springs of thyme. Chop them up a bit. You obviously don't have to use fresh thyme, but I mean, I like to. 
All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab some browning. Um, I like to use the browning from Grace, but I'm sure you can get pretty much any kind of browning. And you're gonna add about, a, let's say like a tablespoon and a half. You're gonna go ahead and wet your hands and begin to mix everything with your wet hands. So once you're done mixing, you're gonna wanna go ahead and really wash your hands because that scotch bonnet pepper is in here, which means it's on your hands. And I swear to God, if you touch your mouth, touch your eye, oh my God, your eye, if you touch your eye, it's a wrap. So make sure you wash your hands really good, especially for me, someone like me, you get in your nails. All right, so I'll be right back. All right, so once you have gone ahead and washed your hands, your seasoning should end up looking something like this. So what you're gonna wanna do is cover it with some saran wrap or plate, basically anything to make sure you lock in all that flavor that you've just put onto the cauliflowers. You could go ahead and cook it right now if you really wanted to, if you were in a rush and you needed to cook immediately. But I wanna make sure that I really get that marinade soaked into my cauliflowers. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this up, pop it in my fridge for an hour, and I'm gonna go ahead and start my rice. And when the marinade is done, I'll be back to show you the rest. All right, so we're back. I went and grabbed a decent sized pot. I have it here on high. I'm gonna just add a little bit of oil and heat that. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab the cauliflowers in here and braise them a bit. The easiest way to do that is to use tongs because you don't wanna put in like any of your onion or your garlic or anything like that to go into the pot. You just basically want to fry the cauliflowers and brown them on all sides. Um, you might need to do this in a couple of batches depending on how much cauliflower you've used. I think I might be able to do it in two batches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these in here without grabbing anything else but cauliflower. And then once they're done, they'll look something like this. You're gonna just go ahead and transfer them to a separate bowl or a seasoning mixture. I personally like to use a little bit of red wine just to deglaze the bottom of my pan a bit. You literally only need a little bit. And then what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and take all this seasoning and pop it in there. And while that's cooking, just take a little bit of salt again, add that in there, as well as a little tiny bit of salt. Ooh, I said pepper. I mix them up, but a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. You got it. You know what I meant. Just mix that all up. And you're going to cook these until your onions are like translucent. They look nice and soft. Okay, now these are seasoned. I'm going to take about, a, I guess, a teaspoon of tomato paste and just kind of pop that in there. All right, so for whatever reason, the footage did not film the last little chunk of everything. So what you wanna do is grab a bay, couple of bay leaves, pop them into your mixture, add in your cauliflower and some ketchup, and then you're just gonna kinda of cover the cauliflower just so it's like basically above the cauliflower, I guess you could say, um, with either vegetable stock or water. And you're just gonna go ahead and let this cook for about 15 minutes or until the cauliflower is soft. So you just basically, if you could put a fork through it, it's good to go. So I'm gonna let that cook for 15 minutes and then I'll be right back. All right, folks, and there we have it. Stew chicken cauliflower. It tastes so freaking good. I'm obsessed with this. Let me know if you guys try it. So don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button so you can see my next video. And I guess I will see you guys in my next one. Peace out.